How you doing guys? Zane's Heavy Boxing Dosage here, back with another video. In this video I like to give you my prediction for this upcoming fight. It's going down December, leave December 24th in my opinion, in my my thoughts, I think. If I'm not mistaken. Uh, but it's definitely in December, it's going down. It's the return of the monster nickname Naoya Inoue. Uh, excited fighter, exciting fight in my opinion. And uh, looking forward to the return of uh, Naoya Inoue. Obviously, as we know, coming off the biggest win of his career, going up in weight and beating uh, previously unbeaten uh, Stefan Fulton Jr. in his last fight. Um, that was a good fight. Uh, I predicted that right as well, so, you know, I was happy about that. You know, made some good money on that. Uh, it's a good one. You know, uh, so yeah, like I said, Naoya Inoue, the monster. We saw in the last fight why he's nicknamed the monster now. Definitely getting rid of um, uh, Na uh, Naoya Inoue, getting rid of Stephen Fulton in impressive fashion. Uh, that was his best career, best career performance in my opinion. And you know, he actually rose up to the occasion. You know, and that's what makes a great fighter when you're in these competitive fights, which are genuinely 50-50, and they're able to, you know, rise to the occasion and put on uh, the best performance of their career at the big stage. You get what I'm saying? So full credit to Naoya Inoue, you know, for getting that victory. And um, I was just really impressed overall, looking back at the fight, I was really impressed with Naoya Inoue's ring intelligence, his ring IQ, his jab, his feints, uh, his um, ways to set up traps as well. And ultimately getting rid of uh, Naoya um, Stefan Fulton in emphatic fashion. Because no one's able, no one has been able to do that to uh, Stefan Fulton Jr. And he was previously undefeated. You get what I'm saying? So that was really impressive in my opinion from Naoya anyway. And he's going in there with uh, another fighter who's a um, really credible opponent. I think he's stepping up in weight again. Um, Naoya Inoue is. And he's going for all the belts that are undisputed, I think, in the next weight class. He's going in there with a guy called Marlon Tepales, who's another good fighter, cannot be underestimated. You get what I'm saying? In his last fight against Ahmed Dalia, who was uh, previously undefeated, um, he managed to pull off the upset. You get what I'm saying? So, we're in for a good fight, man. This guy's not a pushover as well. Um, Marlon Ahmed Dalia um, obviously had success in the fight, but he was meant to win that fight. And Marlon Tafales was getting the better of him during the fight. He was outworking him, um, throwing the more meaningful shots. And um, it was a very close fight, but in the last round, he did get rocked, Marlon Tapales, uh, by Akmadalia, uh, but it was a bit too late and he was able to uh, see the final bell, but he was in trouble. Um, that's what I took away from the fight, but overall, a good performance from uh, Marlon Tapales to uh, obviously take uh, Marjan Ahmed Daliyev's undefeated record. You get what I'm saying? He took his O and that, you know? So, um, like I said, he can't be underestimated here. Because in my opinion, um, he's, he's just as dangerous as Inoue. You know? And he can outwork you. If your, uh, obviously, your punch stats reduces or goes down. You know? But I think... It's going to be a good fight, interesting style matchup. As we know, styles make fights. But I think the difference here is um, how smart Inoue is compared to Tapales. I think Tapales is a good fighter, but I think Naoya Inoue is just a special fighter, as we saw in the last fight. You know, moving up in weight classes, getting rid of the champions, and it's really impressive from Inoue. And that's what makes a pound for pound fighter in my opinion when you're going up in weight classes and taking out the best opponents 
in that division you're definitely going to make a case for yourself or a claim for yourself to be in pound for pound I think Naoya Inoue is definitely on my top 5 pound for pound boxers at uh, this stage so you get what I'm saying but yeah like I said going to be a good fight I'm looking forward to it um, a close out to the end of the year um, so it's going to be a really good interesting battle to see who's going to come out on top for all the bouts you know um, but in my opinion guys I think not all yet anyway it's just a level above uh, Marlon Tepales he's just going in there with a special fire man anyway I've been I've been really high on him since he was starting his career early out in Japan you know I noticed him and um, I'm glad I did notice him because um, he's, he's a fighter you can rely on, you know. Um, so in my final prediction, I'm going to go with Nooya Inoue to win this fight. I think he's going to win this fight by knockout as well. Um, I think he's going to be too intelligent for Marlon Tapales. Tapales has never been in there with someone like Inoue. And he's going in there with just a special fighter in my opinion. You know, because if it was anyone else, Tapales would have a better chance of winning man but he's going in there with a new and I just think he's going to be really hard to defeat at this moment in time so I think he's, he's in his prime of his career yeah so uh, in my opinion I've got my final prediction I've got Naoya Inoue to win this fight by a knockout you know um, I'm thinking in the first eight rounds yeah I think it's going to be in the first eight rounds. You know what I'm saying? I think Inoue is too smart for it. And he's just going to pick him off with feints, traps. And eventually he's going to run into something he don't see coming. And Inoue's power is no joke. I think as he moves up in weight, his power is going to get better and better. Because he's a hard worker. And I think power is going to be really more shocking as he moves up in levels he gains more weight you know as we know when you grow up in weight sometimes the power doesn't go up with you but i think in this case i think Inoue's power is going to move up with him because we saw it in his last fight as well against Stephen Fulton Jr so uh yeah guys my final prediction i've got now yeah Inoue to win this fight by knockout let me know your thoughts guys what do you feel of this matchup and do you feel that Tapales has got a chance or do you agree with what I'm saying let me know your thoughts as always make sure you like comment and subscribe and share the video as it goes a long way to helping out the channel and uh, yeah I'll see you on the next one guys Zane's every boxing dosage